Are you fed up with the US, but don't want to leave it completely behind? Well, there's actually a way you could move 2,400 miles away and still technically be in America. That's right, I'm talking about Hawaii. But Hawaii's isolation from the US mainland isn't the only reason it's by far the happiest state with the highest life expectancy. I mean, how could anyone be stressed when you've got perfect weather and some of the most beautiful beaches and nature on earth right in your backyard? But since the Aloha State consists of 137 different islands, including six that you could potentially live on, you might not even know where to start. That's where I come in. Yes, folks, today we're starting a new series on the 10 best places to live in every state, so comment down below which state you want me to cover next. And if you want to see videos on the worst places to live in each state, let's hit 5,000 likes. Now, size isn't really going to matter for these lists, as a bustling city or a tiny town can both be great places to live depending on what you're looking for. So we tried to include something for everyone and ranked the following places based on their economy, safety, education, cost of living, amenities, and overall quality of life. But without further ado, these are the top 10 best places to live in Hawaii. Number 10. Mililani Town. Centrally located on the island of Oahu, Mililani Town is one of the biggest residential areas on any of the islands. Housing nearly 28,000 residents, with another 21,000 in the nearby town of Mililani Mauka. And it makes sense that so many people want to live here. Mililani is incredibly safe, has great public schools, and is only a 30-minute commute to downtown Honolulu where most of the good jobs are. Essentially, it's a quiet suburban town that's a great place to raise a family without being too far away from either the city or the beautiful beaches on the North Shore. The main drawback, however, is that being in the middle of the island means the nearest beach is also a 30-minute drive away. But the money you save on housing might make it worth it, since Mililani's one of the more affordable places to own a home with a median home value of $783,000 compared to the median household income of hundred fifteen dollars and yes, I know that still seems really expensive, but for Oahu, it really isn't. Number 9. Kihei. Speaking of quiet towns, Kihei on the south side of Maui is one of the best places for retirees. The community is so welcoming, and there are plenty of unique stores, restaurants, and coffee shops throughout the town. But they're also all located along one long street of strip malls with a few houses and condos burst in between. So if you hate beige, this is not the place for you. If you don't mind the bland aesthetic, however, you'll be rewarded with over six miles of pure coastline on the other side of that street, so you're always a short walk from a beach, park, or cool shop no matter where you live. And you're less than a 20-minute drive from the world-class beaches in Wailea. Now, if you don't have time to walk, you probably aren't retired, which means you should probably skip on living here, since there just aren't many good-paying jobs. Sure, the cost of housing is cheaper than any other beachfront town on Maui, but the median home value is still $767,000. <laughs> Number 8. Hilo. Hilo is both the oldest Hawaiian city and the largest city on the island of Hawaii, aka the Big Island. And while I'd say it's pretty much the only place in the state other than Honolulu that actually feels like a city, it still isn't very big. Considering all the historic town has to offer though, with tons of museums, restaurants, shops, community events, and farmers markets featuring the freshest fish and tropical fruits you can find, Hilo's pretty affordable with a median home value of just 300 $169,000. But there's a reason for that. The schools suck, and there just aren't many good paying jobs. The median household income is actually only $63,000, and the poverty rate is 17.1%. This, of course, has led to a lot of petty theft, with a property crime rate at 90% above the national average. Oh, and if you're looking for those white sand beaches and 300 days of sun that Hawaii's known for, you won't find either here. Hilo is on the windward, or east side of the Big Island, which means it gets a lot of rain. It's actually the rainiest U.S. city, with 136 inches of annual rainfall and nearly 240 rainy days per year. But hey, at least all that rain also creates one of the most beautiful and lush ecosystems on Earth. And yes, there are waterfalls literally everywhere. 
Number seven, Alieva. When most people think of iconic surf spots, they probably think of North Shore Oahu. And Alieva is pretty much the perfect North Shore small town. If you're looking for a secluded, tight-knit community with friendly residents, stunning beaches, and amazing surf, you'd be hard-pressed to find a better place to live. It's incredibly safe, and there's year-round sunshine and gorgeous nature in literally every direction. Heck, even the turtles love it here. But all this comes with the price. No, like literally, the median home value is $1.312 million, and since much of the economy relies on tourism, the median household income is just $72,000. And while there are plenty of restaurants and bars to appeal to the tourists, there are not many essentials outside of a small local grocery store. The closest Costco, Safeway, Whole Foods, Target, and Home Depot are all a 30 to 45 minute drive away. But that's kind of the point of a small town, right? Number six, Kanaohe. If you want to experience the enchanting windward side of Oahu without the Kailua price tag, you might be interested in joining the nearly 34,000 people who call Kanaohe home. Now, the reason that it is a bit cheaper with a median home value of $876,000 is because the city doesn't technically have a real beach. But the scenery here is still breathtaking. And while yes, this is a cookie cutter suburb in many ways with tons of strip malls and chains, Kanaohe still has plenty of charm and a lot to do. From farmers markets and shopping at the Windward Mall, to kayaking and snorkeling the sandbars at Heia State Park, to walking through the serene Biotowin Temple and nearby botanical gardens, there's really something for everyone. Oh, and did I mention that it's also incredibly safe and just a quick 20 minute drive to Honolulu? Number five, Kailua Kona. While Oahu might be full of civilization and short drives, nothing on the big island is close together, and like 98% of it is still undeveloped. Now this could be either a good or a bad thing, depending on your preferences, but outside of Hilo, Kailua Kona is pretty much the only other major population center on Big Island. Unlike Hilo, however, Kona actually has great weather, which is probably why its population has grown by nearly 30% since 2000. 2010. Well, that and the fact that it's just a 40-minute drive to the world-class beaches and resorts of the Kahala Coast while still being somewhat affordable with a median home cost of $590,000. But all that sunshine also means a lot of tourists. Kona's pretty much the only place on the island well-equipped enough to handle visitors, so they all flock here for the restaurants and shops. Now on its own, Kailua Kona isn't anything that special. Sure, it's got a cute town center and has everything Everything you'd ever need from Target to Costco to farmer's markets, but outside of that, there isn't much going on. The main reason it's a great place to live is just that it's a convenient home base to explore the 11 different climate zones Big Island has to offer while still having some city amenities. Not to mention, the sunsets here are simply mesmerizing. Number 4. East Honolulu. Add the word East onto the largest Hawaiian city, and you get the second largest Hawaiian city. Well, by population at least. Because East Honolulu might be better described as a collection of suburbs east of Honolulu than as an actual city. But boy, oh boy, is it one of the most picturesque suburbs in America. And many of the neighborhoods here, including Aina Haina and Hawaii Kai, are some of the best places to raise a family or retire. You've got all your essentials right in town, including great medical care and a Costco. And East Honolulu is actually one of the safest U.S. cities with a crime rate 47% below the national average and a violent crime rate 67% below the national average. Not to mention, the public schools are also exceptional, which isn't very common for Hawaii. And due to East Honolulu's location on the south shore of Oahu, you're surrounded by so many gorgeous beaches, hikes, and nature like Sandy Beach, the Coco Head Crater, Makapu'u Lighthouse Trail, Hanaama Bay, and China Walls while still being just 20 minutes away from the jobs and city life in Honolulu. Which explains why the median household income is a whopping $133,000 and the poverty rate is just 3.3%. Wait, that almost sounds too perfect. There has to be a catch. Well, there is. The median home value is $1.1 million. Number three, Lahaina. 
Lahaina is kind of like the Kona of Maui, except it's bigger and has a lot more charm. Every building along Front Street is unique, colorful, and historic, and there are so many different restaurants, shops, art galleries, parks, and historic sites and museums within walking distance. In fact, Lahaina is one of the few walkable areas on the entire island of Maui. Although it also is a bit isolated from the rest of the island, being around a 35 to 40 minute drive to Kihei or Kahului. But most of the 12,776 residents hardly leave the west side of Maui anyways, because they don't need to. Lahaina is by far the liveliest place on the island and offers pretty much everything you'd ever want to do, from nightlife to farmer's markets, whale watching, and hiking. And some of the most beautiful beaches in the world are just 10 minutes away in Kaanapali. Although, if you ever do visit the other parts of the island, just make sure you're back home in time to catch the sunset over Lanai and Molokai, because it is not a sight you want to miss. Number two, Honolulu. Honestly, it's kind of unfair to put Honolulu as a single place on this list, since nowhere else in Hawaii can even come close to the size and scope of this city. Heck, there are neighborhoods here which are bigger and offer more to do than most of the towns on this list. But yes, with a population of 341,000 and metro population just under a million, Honolulu is the only real city in the state, and as such, consists of so many many unique and fun neighborhoods. From the bustling nightlife in Waikiki and Chinatown, to high-end shopping in Ala Moana, to the up-and-coming Kaka'ako, to the younger trendy scene in Macaulay and Kaimuki, to serene nature in Manoa, to pure luxury in Kahala, there is something here for pretty much every type of lifestyle. And there are so many stunning beaches and hikes to enjoy as well, especially since Honolulu's the cleanest major U.S. city. It's also really the only place in Hawaii with good job opportunities, which helps keep the city incredibly diverse with a good mix of young professionals and families. Sure, the median home value of 740 grand is isn't cheap, but with decent condos starting in the $200,000 range, if you're under the age of 30 and want to live in Hawaii, just move to Honolulu. Now before we get to number one, make sure you leave a like and subscribe and let me know which state you want me to cover next. And I also wanted to give a quick honorable mention to Kapa'a, the largest largest town on the island of Kauai. The community here is amazing with local art walks and farmers markets, and the town offers plenty of amenities with beautiful beaches, tons of outdoor recreation, a cute downtown, and so many good restaurants and coffee shops. Kapa'a's central location on Kauai's east side also means you're within an hour's drive of every part of the island, and less than a 20-minute drive to the big box stores and government jobs in the commercial center of Lihue. Now, Kauai definitely isn't for everyone, but with a median home value of just $630,000 and a median household income of $91,000, Kapa'a is by far the most livable place on the Garden Isle. Number one. Kailua. Now this should come as no surprise to anyone who's ever visited this one sleepy beach town on the windward side of Oahu, which has started to become not so sleepy as more and more tourists visit every year. But can you blame them? This is probably the most beautiful part of Oahu, with the breathtaking Ko'olau Mountains and two of the most picturesque beaches in the entire world right in your backyard. And with great schools, insanely low crime, tons of farmers markets and local businesses and an incredibly welcoming community, Kailua checks all the boxes. Honestly, one of my main goals in life is to be able to afford a home here, which to be fair, probably won't be happening anytime soon as the median home value is $1.14 million. But this list isn't the most affordable places to live in Hawaii. It's the best places to live in Hawaii and sometimes amazing places to live don't come cheap. Whether you're young, old, or even from Mars, Kailua is the best place to live in Hawaii for 2021.